identifying and allocating resources for health promotion programs. Welcome to the second week. We are planning our intervention now. The assessment has been done, the planning has been done, now we are organizing the last issues in order to conduct our health promotion intervention in the community, in the setting we chose. So it's very important to identify all the resources that will be needing, needed for this purpose, to achieve our goals. What kind of resources shall we identify? Facilities, for instance, buildings. We'll identify supplies. Maybe we are going to need, among supplies, one water tank or potable drinking water. Transportation, logistics. Also, we have to think about money, the money we will need. How we are going to divide the time, we will need a timeline. We will also need educational resources such as uh, pamphlets, canned resources, original resources, educational materials, all of that. And the most important resource is personnel, people. How we will organize people in committees, in departments? Are we going to have a list of tasks for each committee? All these issues is regarding to administration. So identifying and organizing financial resources, time resources, uh, logistic resources, and material resources, and educational resources, this is called health administration, or this is called health management. Very important when we plan our intervention. So in this week, when you study your material in this online class, you will know all the details, how to put this in order, in order to be successful. After you have finished identifying and organizing all these resources, one important tool is the executive timeline. An executive timeline is just a piece of paper, sometimes can be two or three pages, in which the complete plan of intervention, all the planning, all the intervention to do, is condensed in a couple of three pages with three columns. This is called executive timeline. In the first column, we can see the deadline. By this date, in the second column, this will be done. The activity that must be done at that deadline. And finally, a place for responsibility. Who will be in charge of making that activity possible by that date? That is an executive timeline, an instrument that can be used in order to condense all our planning intervention to go to the actual intervention. Enjoy this second week.